Hello folks and welcome. So this video is made for all users of Mint, whether you're uh, brand new or seasoned or experienced. Um, I'm going to talk about some things on your panel, like the stackable icons for these web pages. Generally, these are a lot smaller and they're actually not stacked vertically. They're going to be side by side. And I'm going to show you some tools about group grouped windows list today. Anyone can do this. Uh, Mint 22 Cinnamon, filming in 1080, my screen res is in 4K, welcome. So I'll just do the cheap plug going using this only. And uh, I have 523 videos for you. Linux is for all ages. And uh, we have Linux for all skill levels. Don't forget the search feature in the center here to do keyword searches if you're a new subscriber. I will minimize that. So I'm going to talk about the general uh, thumbnails that are you're currently looking at are usually a lot smaller and they're stacked this way. So I'm going to talk about best practices. Now, whether you want to use this video for entertainment or you want to do this yourself, let's talk about your panel. So when you right click on your panel, you have these settings. However, when you right click on these icons, right click on your icons, not click. Applet Preferences. I'll do the same over here. Applet Preferences. Configure. There are four selection boxes and I highly suggest that you make screenshots before you play. I'm going to say this again. I highly recommend screenshots before you change settings. I will return this now back to standard, which I believe is small. That's what that normally looks like. So let's start with general. Go find your screenshot tool. Mint menu SC. My simple screen recorder icon also looks the same here because of the icon sets that I'm using. But screenshot tool nonetheless, you can put it on your desktop or you can just drag it straight down to your panel. And then when you get done playing, you can right click and unpin it. It's always installed there. We're not uninstalling it. We're pinning it and unpinning it. You got that so far? Okay. SC. So why do I recommend you do this kind of stuff with screenshots? Because if you make changes and you have undesired results, you have some way to recover. All right. So I'm going to start with first screenshot. Now I'm going to put the window kind of half and half. It never takes a picture of itself. But I don't want the screen. I don't need the wallpaper and the box and the panel. I want the window only. This box that's behind me, behind this tool. I don't need the pointer and default should be zero. Take the screenshot. I'm going to put all four of these screenshots on my desktop. And I'll show you the reason why in a second. Because I'm going to do a nifty little trick with the space bar. Okay, that's the first one. Now I'm going to change that and do another screenshot, window only, and save, and then change that to the third tab, another screenshot, window only, and save. And the last one, window only, and take. And again, leave the names just as is. Now I'm going to close this because I'm going to come back to it. Now I made screenshots of that Windows group list. All right, right click, create a folder. Call it whatever you want. That's what I'm going to call mine. Spelling doesn't even count. All right, so I'm going to, do you know how to multi-highlight with your mouse? I'm using a regular standard mouse. Click and drag. Highlighted all four objects. Drag until you see the folder open, drop it. All right, so generally, here's my trick. If you just hit the space bar, you'll open up a single. I think most people know how to do that. Or you can double click and it opens this up in a what kind of tool? It's called X Viewer. Hit the space bar. This is general, by the way. This is panel. That's thumbnails and context menu. These are screenshots. You can see the sizes of them. I'll use the space bar to cycle through these. So general panel thumbnails context menu. Don't make the mistake of clicking these. These are screenshots. But now I see that I have all four of these 
and they look like I'm actually cycling through the settings. Nifty little trick maybe, or maybe some people already know this trick. Another one is Alt and F4 to close that, or you can just use the X in the corner. But I'm not going to leave this here. I'm going to save this for later. You can also put a date on it if you like, but I'm going to cut this. And then I'm going to throw it over here in my photo section. So I have a screenshot folder already. And I'll dump it in here. So all I'm doing is making four screenshots of these settings right here before I started playing. I'll use this icon. Right click, Applet, Preferences, Configure. So I'm not going to do all these for you today. I am going to focus in on thumbnails because that is what I am going to be doing. And I'm going to change these to a vertical stack, which is done through here. So currently they're set pretty small because the thumbnail size, but they're stacked vertically nonetheless. And these are web pages that are currently open, as you can see by the number four. Now I'm going to go the opposite direction, largest. I prefer this, but let's say you prefer it in the other direction. That's also good, but again, it's a choice in case you want it in this direction. Now the fifth one, of course, will be probably cut off, but uh, and even if I go in this direction, uh, number five would be almost approaching the end, but I have more real estate going across my screen than vertical, but a lot of people like vertical stacking. Vertical thumbnails. Whatever your choice is and the size of the icons, you have several selections. So again, there's lots of things you can play with in here. I just gave you a taste of this. Thank you for watching.